It was just hours ago when police found a body of a toddler in a dumpster, believed to be that of two-year-old Frankie Gonzalez. He disappeared more than 24 hours ago. That dumpster is near North 27th Street near Park Lake Drive. Police say his mother, Laura Sanchez, confessed to the killing before she was arrested. It's where we begin our team coverage on this Tuesday. 25 News reporters Dennis Turner and Abby Loring have been following this tragic story all day long. We're starting off with Abby Loring, who's live at the scene where that child's body was found. Dozens have also gathered there to, there to mourn that young boy. Abby. I want to thank y'all for coming today. That's right, we're and the tonight. vigil's going on right now. We also have breaking new details that were confirmed to 25 News just church. moments ago that Lauren Sanchez like confirmed she kept the body for two days I, I no before she disposed of it in the dumpster literally a few feet away from us here. But his life and his death. Police say Laura Sanchez, mother of two-year-old Frankie Gonzalez, called police from Cameron Park Monday afternoon at 1.53 p.m. to report her son missing. Volunteers and officials searched Cameron Park for most of the day Monday, hoping to locate the missing toddler. Every pair of eyes counted, everybody that was out there counted, because every second counts. This is a two-year-old baby. Volunteers returned to the park this morning to resume the search and received the heartbreaking news. By the time, you know, everybody made it up, the baby has already been found and we're just kind of devastated because we plan on coming back out here to help. Police located little Frankie's body in the dumpster behind Park Lake Drive Baptist Church. Laura Sanchez uh, was with the child. She was in care, custody, and control of the child whenever, uh, whenever Frankie um, actually died. Police arrested Laura Sanchez, the child's mother, and charged her with first-degree felony injury to a child. Frankie did not die of natural causes. So uh, we're, as far as what the exact injuries are, we're going to wait for autopsy results before we can say anything like that. Police believe the mother acted alone. No one else is being looked into. Uh, there was nobody else involved with that, and that came from her. Um, she is the one that led us uh, to locate the body of uh, Frankie community that are dealing with domestic violence, dealing with kids who An are autopsy is being done to still determine yeah, how he died. And 25 News also I'm, learned that I'm two sorry, of the victim's siblings are also in I foster care. This. And police say that little Frankly, little Frankie was never at Cameron together. Park. For I'm now in Waco, I'm Abby Loring, 25 News.